Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and I am going to be showing you how to digitally give your images in Photoshop tattoos. So this is how you do a digital tattoo within Photoshop. So the first thing that you want to do here, I'm going to go ahead and delete this here that I already have done. And the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and get the tattoo that you want, okay, the design, and then go ahead and have an object that you want to place the tattoo on. So once you have the tattoo, wherever you may get it from, use your magic wand tool, okay, to delete the background. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that the background is unlocked and then click OK there. And then select the white area around the design and then hit delete and that will delete the white area to a transparent background and do this in all of the different areas around the tattoo in which you see white because you do not want to see any white on the skin you want all of the area around it to be transparent that way it will look the most realistic on your subject so once you have done that and you've got that the way you want it and it is all a transparent background around it go ahead and move that somewhere else so you can drag it on to your subject so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and grab my move tool which is right up here in the top left hand corner and then I'm going to click on that and I'm going to drag it over to my image now once I have it in my image here what I want to do is make sure that I have it selected with the move tool and I have the show transform controls checked up here if I don't have it checked you will not see any of the bounding box where you can rotate it and you resize it so you want to have the show transform controls checked on the upper left hand corner of the screen now that you have the show transform controls selected and there's a check mark beside it you are able to select your tattoo design and move it anywhere on your subject once you have it the way you want it and you've placed the image and you've rotated it any way that you may want it to be rotated okay so I'm gonna place mine right there you wanna hit the check mark right up here in the upper right hand corner to place that object now the next thing that you want to do is make sure you have that layer selected that is your tattoo design you want to change the blend mode of that layer to multiply which is right here under darken okay so I've changed that blend mode to multiply and what that does is it kind of adds a little you know merging effect with the skin there so it looks a little better the next thing that you want to do is change the opacity of that image to right around 75 to 78 it really doesn't matter you'll have to find a sweet spot Spot according to the design that you have and the last thing that you're going to want to do is select that image or that design and go up to filter blur and Gaussian blur which is right here click on that there now you want the radius to be anywhere from 0.2 to 0.8 or 9 you don't want to go above that it just doesn't look right so I left mine right at 0.4 and then I clicked on OK now if it's still a little too dark you can always go back and adjust the opacity of that to kind of make it you know look a little better on your subject and then once you're done with that you can select off of that image okay and go select your background and now you have digitally tattooed your image that's just one of the ways to do it there are a number of ways of doing this and this is just the easiest and most basic way that I have found uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you've learned something through this video if you do however have any questions go ahead and put them in the comment box below I'll get to those as soon as I possibly can and as always guys if you can Help me out, subscribe to my channel for more great content like this, hit the thumbs up button and like this video, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you guys next time.